May 13th screen, right, Cigar Bob? Like, you see the ST Games thing with all the four... Okay, yeah, we're fine then. Okay, guys, welcome back to Arcadium. Um, hosted by, of course, Sergey of Arcadium and myself, El Trouble. Uh, today we'll be covering a basic Geef tutorial, kind of aimed for newer players. To kind of get them, you know, get their feet wet and get them playing Geef early on and knowing some basic tactics and uh, strategies. So today I have joined with me, special guest, Shotos All Day. Who, uh, despite his name, actually plays Geef <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> he doesn't always play Shotos, so... Um, yeah, um, Geef is largely considered bottom five of ST, do you agree with that? Yeah, he has a lot of hard matches, and he has, he has to get in to do damage. Exactly, but and, I feel like, uh, despite his bad matchups, like, once he gets in... He I mean, his damage, his damage is ridiculous, like, this, uh... That takes off so much life there. Yeah, well, if, I mean, you can't really tell because of the training mode, but yeah. it, it does take like 20, 30 percent of the damage. And then let's, I guess we should go over some of his normals now. Yeah, right now we'll cover his, his basic normals. So, okay, so this is a this is a standing jab right here, and it's actually a really good move because if you can see his hitbox, his leg moves forward, but it doesn't stay the same. So do a couple of whip sweeps. You can actually like bait out a sweep by. Uh, it looks like his foot goes forward. Like yeah, see. And then just you know, it's a good old trick right there. So this is a good move to kind of, you know, uh, you, the main thing is, is his foot moves forward, but his hitbox stays the same. You know, another, cool. another good trick is this. What? Let me do a knockdown and don't do anything. You can do that, like on wake up, so. Oh, like activate points. Yeah, blocks. so it's kind of like the, uh, it's another good trick for that one. It's very Let's do that. Yeah, a little too early. That's like another good trick right there. And then, uh, yeah, so this is really useful. Look, look how much his leg moves forward. And, you know, it's, you don't be, you're not afraid to get swept because you can do that. Well, Let's the really cool thing is that in certain matchups, like against Balrog, or Han oh yeah, it, it just stops. stops, it stops, stops yeah, and you could, you obviously want to uh, tap it rapidly at times. Of course. And against Dalsim, when he's in the corner, it's pretty much you want to do that every time because it's uh, you can't block it low. Yeah. So that's that move. And then this is a, a chop. You can also you see his uh, his leg kind of moves forward. The hitbox stays the same, so it's good for that. But the main use for this one, I've seen it in combos, is like your bread and butter would be uh, you know it's simple punish. It's pretty. Uh, or another another one is this one. I'm gonna try to get fancy on me with the setup. You no, know, that's another one right there. <laughs> so th that one was good for combos. Really good for combos. I use it for that. And you have a standing fierce, right? This is a, a bad move because it's crap. <laughs> I mean, it's I'm really not gonna. It's, you have to really like stuff a fireball or something. But you can see it's a lot of recovery, a lot of startup, and um, his foot moves forward. So it's kind of a dangerous move. You wanna be careful when you use but it. Also, his whole body, like after the active yeah. frames go away, his her his hurt box still hanging exactly, out. Exactly. Yeah. So you wanna be careful yeah. about that move. And let's go over the uh, let's go over the crouching now. The, what we just did. So this is a really good crouching jab is a really really good move. You can see that his whole uh, what is it? This whole uh, hand is red. Yeah. So uh, thing about it, this move has five I think five frames of startup, five frames of active frames. That's no no recovery frames at all. So because of that, a good use for this one is like a meaty a safe meaty. Try to do a dragon punch when I do it. Uh, I didn't do it right, but <laughs> you should if you do it right, it sh you shouldn't be able to. Oh, man, I'm definitely doing it. Right. <laughs> I'm doing it too far. There you go. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, see, see how I blocked that on time. If you, if you time it right, it should be a safe. It should be a safe uh, on on wake up. Let's go over that again. See that that there was a perfect example of like I uh, did it just in time. So on the recovery, uh, it hit him afterwards. So right. you, should, you should be always practice getting the space right on wake up, like the farthest distance possible, and like right at the oh, right I'm timing. So it. you should not be able to um, to dragon punch me. You know, that's that's if you can get that down, that's a huge. Uh, it's a safe meeting. Yeah. If you can time it correctly, space it out correctly. It's a, and it's a zero recovery. You know, so you really want to. And the, another move that he has that is zero recovery is only the one is to stand short. Which is a good move because it hits low. Yeah. And, and another good one, if you see like Ryu just like throw out a bunch of medium kicks, like crashing medium, you can you can just if you have like one more hit you need to do to kill him, I would just walk forward and do that. You know. Yeah, so even though the uh, the boxes on it look kind of poor because he has a giant hurt exactly. box, it's so quick and it's yeah. just a recovery. So it's but the main use for this one is on wake up, you want to hold you want to hold back while you do it, and you want to get it kind of at the right distance, and it should be a safe media attack as well. I messed that one up, but let's get it right. No, I didn't do it right, but it should be safe if you time it right. Yeah, yeah I think I'm doing it too. I think I'm doing it too uh, early. There it is. You know, so that's let's do that again. We should get there. That was a good one. Yeah, so it's something you should get the idea with it. And even if I mess up the reversal, you still yeah, hit me out of exactly. it. Exactly. 
And you can do a two and one, you know, stand so four sweep. Yeah, that's a good combo. Yeah, so it's a safe, and it's just, just like this. This two, so his two safe medias are stand short and crouching jab. So you definitely want to master that. I mean, it sounds simple, but if you can do this with Geef, your game will get so much better. If you can get the right distance and the right timing, and right when he's on a wake up, just do this. Right. He can't do anything. I mean, he, it's 100 percent safe. So right. it's a huge. And another common mix up you see is that um, a lot of Geefs on wake up they do this, and that should get again should be another safe thing. And the main the main purpose is this: if they miss the reversal, um, no, it's it's pretty pretty safe. But even if they go for the reversal, you should be able to punish him like I just did right there, you know? If you time it right... Oh, up and down. Oh, you want to uppercut after the yeah. short? And if the first one hits them, they can't really uppercut after the... Uh, yeah. So you want to get that down, of course. And an another variation is, you know, because the uh, crouching jab is another safe one, right. you, know, you can also do this. You know, just, just like you do this, another version would be... Uh, that's one version, another version is this. Oh, links? They're both equally as safe oh, nice. because... Um, because this is supposed to be safe, so it's, you're doing the same thing pretty much. So you want to master that, and um, so let's, do, let's do a standing jab as an, as an anti-air, like jumping me from close. So that's, that's see that how his chop when you when you're close, that's like a perfect anti-air right there. And your chop beats everything, so it's funny. You just time it right and it'll beat it. <laughs> yeah, but it only works when you're close. Yeah, if you're, you're really close. close. If you're far away, do it. The a different move will come out if you're far away. See yeah, how it, you can beat clean, and so. it beats it. It's only used when they're like right above. Yeah, right? and another great move that he has is his standing medium kick. You can see how far the red goes out, and look at his legs, they stay the same. So what, is, what this main move, the, I think of this move is, you want to be able to get right outside there, do a sweep, whip sweep, whip a few sweeps like in a row. If you're right outside a sweep range, you are get an automatic punish with that. Dude, you know, that's the main, that's a great version of that move. He even punishes a crushing medium kick. Yeah, if you do a crushing medium kick, right on the recovery, yeah. you should be able to beat it. So it's designed to beat out low. low it's down, yeah, low. and and um, the way you counter that is, of course, the crouching strong. We're covering Geef, so yeah, that's. But you can still get on the recovery of the crouching strong. So do, do a couple crouchings. Strong. Yeah, you should be able to get on the recovery. You know. Of course. Of course. So you can get it when it's active. So you want to you want to be able to punish moves with this with this a lot because it has a more it has more more range even than the sweep. Right. So miss a sweep if you miss a sweep, you have to, you have to be able to walk forward on reaction and do that every time. You know, I didn't do that. You should not be able to block it. So that should be that should be like all ingrained in every Zanky's head, and if you get once you get better, you should be able to do a pile driver. No. Very nice. Very again, nice. do it again. Sorry. So you should get another good trick is like remember I always said on wake up, uh, this this is this move forward when you do this. Right. So like if I know that you're gonna do a sweep on wake up, okay, I'm gonna do this. Like I'm gonna hold forward. Like, when I knock you down, I'm gonna do this. Then I'm gonna uh, I'll show you. Just do a sweep on wake up. Right when I knock you down. Yeah, go. See how I use that to, I uh, held forward and then it paused me. It's right. another good trick, right? This is kind of an advanced trick, actually a really advanced trick, but you just want to be able to punish. The main point is you want to be able to punish with moves with either this, the standing medium kick, or a, a walk forward pile driver, or a sweep. Good and you have, you have to get very proficient at that, because that's, with Zangief, you have to earn your opportunities. You have to earn your knockdowns, so that's a huge thing. Right, that's the thing. I feel like playing Zangief is, is learning how to be very, very patient. Yeah. Um, and kind of play like the zoning game, kind and of make your way in slowly. There's a couple of variations. We're talking about the stand short mix-up. I'll just go over. This is a slightly more advanced variation. People use this a lot. You just go. I didn't space it right. But you should be oh, able to do two. Yeah, you should be able to do two. I can't do it right. <laughs> I'm too far away. But if you do it right, there we go. That's another. That's another advanced trick. Hard of time, obviously. Yeah, it's hard of time. You hit them right at, one, one, right there, yeah. one uh, right after the other. That makes sense. So, like, are there any uses for like? Crouching medium kick, standing roundhouse. Oh, so crouching. So as you can see, these have the same anime. Look at the sweep. His sweep is like a great move because it's just a oh, fast knockdown. Nice, yeah. So he has the same animation, but it's a lot faster. So uh, I'm gonna whiff a sweep on purpose and sweep me right afterwards. Okay. okay? Yeah. So you can just stand still. I'll, I'll go in the range where you can just do it stationary. So see, if if you if I'm a geef and I'm throwing a lot of sweeps and I keep seeing the real player do this, he's he's fucking me up with this. I shouldn't really say that. He's messing me up with this. Uh, Okay. With these sweeps, <laughs> you know, like um, so, you know, you can whip punish sweeps easily. So you can you can trick the real player by throwing that out, and then you know. That's good tip. See, I didn't know they had different uh, properties he, on each kick. So besides being faster, you know, he's used to whiffing my sweep on reaction. I can trick him out, you know. Yeah, it's good because the animation is exactly the same, yeah. but the speed of it. Exactly, and and the uh, the sound is the same too. Yeah. A lot of players judge whiff normals by the sound they make, and you know, it makes a pretty similar sound. Well, because so, a lot of geese, they, they always abuse the sweep, you know what I'm saying? They're always using it, they're always whiffing it, and it's very, uh, 
They're not used to it, bro. You can punish it. Oh, another huge thing you have react. to go through is that there's two different motions. There's two different. You can control the spin of the direction of Zangief. Okay, so we're doing special moves now. When I'm, I don't know how people. I know there's a couple ways to do it, but I'll give you like what I do is when I'm on the second player side, as I am right now, I always do it like, uh, what is it? Counterclockwise, right? Yeah, we counterclockwise starting from my left. So starting from the left position. Yeah, so it's basically left. like this, and I, and 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 okay. end it up. Okay. So, you know, that'll get him in the same corner every time on that side. Um, and you know, that's, that's actually easier because this side I find is easier to control the motion. This side is harder because you have to press down and back and then your motion, you have to change the motion to forward. Um, so like, where do you start? Um, I start on one I, side, where do you start? I play on one side, I start on right and okay. I end up, and I end up in between right and up because if you end up in up, it'll, oh, that's interesting. you have to, you have to do it like sorry, at one o'clock angle. So from the three o'clock. You go from three yeah. o'clock clockwise into yeah. So um, when you're on one player side, you have to you have to do practice doing crouching jabs, and then you have to kind of let go of it. Like I'll show you, you see what I do, and you'll explain it. But like I do this, look at my hands, I go, and then I uh, you know, I go on this side. Oh, okay. So you do jab, jab, and then I let go of it, and, and so because I, I have to end up going to the right, and then I have to go, you know. So that's okay. So and when you're on the um, when you're on the second player side, you want to make sure you do. You start left and you can end in up, it doesn't matter. But right. when you're on this side, you have to. St I start uh, right and I end up between up and right. Well, that makes sense because that way you spend less time in the up position, yeah. so there's less chance of you messing up your own. Exactly. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's, pretty so cool. that's another. That's another uh, you want to. It's a huge thing. I mean, against some characters, like if you play. If you're versus Gal, he's pretty much dead once he's in the corner if you can control the spin. Right. If you can't control the spin, he'll. He can get out of it, you know, later on. So. Right, because you push Gal too far away, which lets, you know. Less mix of opportunity, correct? Is where you press the button, not the direction. Okay, so what apparently in stream chat, um, in order to control SBE according to stream chat, it's it's all about where you press the button at the end. Yeah, yeah. So I, where you start. Yeah. Okay. So I happen I happen to start on this side, but I end up here and I press, you know. Okay. So it's still. It's, I guess I guess what he's saying. Yeah. Okay, so you can start in any direction, but as long as you end up still on that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The one o'clock position. But but in terms of practical side. for me, like when I'm on the first player side, I start it right and I end up. You know, between uh, okay, it makes right sense because it's more comfortable for that. So, yeah, so it, it actually doesn't matter where you st and um, but for me that's what I do. And that makes it work, you know, easily. Oh, nice. And just stick whatever you do. Yeah, clockwise or clockwise doesn't matter exactly. But I find for me personally, when I'm on the one player side, going uh, going clockwise starting from right is the easiest way for me to do it. If you have a, I guess the other way to do it would be to um, you can start like you can start here and end up. But that's harder for me, you know. I don't know what other people do, but. Oh, so like, so start an offensive crowd. Yeah, yeah. And then go. Um, yeah, but the problem is that it's hard. Way. It's hard to Not safe jump. It's hard to safe jump with that. Okay, right. right. Well, so I guess basically like you yeah. did, you did experiment with your own methods of SP experiment. Control. But my the main thing is to stick to it and get it consistent. You know, that's a huge that's a huge thing you want to do. Makes sense. And so let's. Oh, and then we have we have his lariats. Zangief has two lariats. One is the triple punch. It stays out a little longer. It's good for evading fireballs and and you know hitting it on startup. Right. And then he has a kick lariat. And this is really good for footsies, like right after you finish it, to throw out a like a, a medium kick or a sweep right afterwards. Oh. So you the know. kick layer is a little faster. Yeah, it's a little faster. Okay, so okay. again, especially versus DJ, you can like walk back and do this and then throw out a medium kick. It's really good. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So that that's a yeah. primary tool to get around fireballs. Yeah, you but you want to you don't want to get too predictable because it's a free sweep for uh, Ryu if, if he sees it coming. Like, like you know, I'm, I'm gonna walk forward and just do it like an idiot. Yeah. It's, you can just, Free. Right, but you can control the lariat. Yeah, like where you and you can walk forward and backwards while you do it, so it's a huge thing. And I, another another thing I see is I don't know which character is good verse, but another trick is you can see a lot of geeks they do the lariat and they'll walk forward a little bit and then just do a, a pile driver right afterwards. Oh, that's, that's, that's good verse kick. You recover almost instantly. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's useful for kick one pretty much, you know, for that one. Interesting. So that's a good one. And let's see what else. Um, let's go over his basic uh, jumping combos. Okay. Or his safe jump setups. What I, you can safe jump with medium kick or light punch or light kick. I, I do it with light kick. And you, it's just a certain time you have to get used to. I mean, it's, it's hard to describe, but you'll see the animation. You get used to Ryu uh, getting knocked down. And you should be able to time it. You know, that's or even if I mess up my uppercut, you can still hit me out of it. You yeah. Do a combo. Oh, and do the, if you see a, do a, do a whiff dragon punch. I think that should be the best punish if you see if he, he does it honestly at you. Do okay. that again, so oh. you know it's kind of hard to do, but or, or you can do like you know a couple jabs and do it. So you know just make sure you have a solid punish. Make sure you have a solid punish when someone misses something. 
Well, you know? I'll, I'll do a Lariat, or a, I'll do a Spade Kick for Ryu, and then use Lariat on me. Oh, yeah. Thanks. So that's another thing, like, it beaches all, it beaches, uh, crouching... What are you doing? It's a way to do it, I guess. If you do, if you time it right, it should beat uh, all of Ryu's hurricane kicks. But uh, you can you can simply stop that with the jabs or any of his crouching punches. You know. Oh, that's also if you're not yeah. as good at Larry at timing. Yeah, I just it's, 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 it's safe bet 100. percent Another right. good mix up you'll see is he'll do a crouching jab, do it, and he'll jump right afterwards. Do, oh, do a hurricane kick. No, like a full one, and then it sets up a safe jump. I think. Oh, okay. You know, that's so do it again. You see, I was, I was safe jump, so it is it does have a safe jump. So that's a really good setup you want to use. It's a lot easier time. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, okay. it's okay. time to for you, you know. Yeah. You know, so you should be able to. Do, you should be able to do that. Yeah, Kropi says low. Um, crouching medium punch, hard punch. Yeah, with no risk. So your most damaging one will be crouching hard punch. But if you want to set that up, you can do a uh, crouching jab to set that. Do that setup right. That's a really oh, okay. good setup. So it depends whether you want the damage or you want the setup. Exactly. Afterwards. Okay. So it all depends. But if you're surefire bet, you, you can't go wrong on this. You know, that's guaranteed. Bam. Of course, of course. So. Uh, yeah, that's that's a good punish. You want to punish that? Oh, actually, another thing. If you're on the uh, Grandmaster version, yeah. this is an advanced tactic I've seen on Game Spots. But do a um, a light hurricane kick. If you know that it's coming, you should be able to do that. And it should be automatic dizzy. It's really hard to uh, space and time. It's but like, tough. but like one setup I see, like I'm gonna do a <coughs> crowd short to two jabs and do a hurricane kick afterwards. Okay. Like that Sorry. should that oh. should beat it. That should be able to beat it. Oh, I think I you do, I do a light one. I think. So it's very specific. But yeah, it's very specific. Yeah, yeah, just know that that's an automatic dizzy. So that's the reason why you want to. Uh, so I'm, I'm two jabs and do it. Wait, my step. Uh, do do a light hurricane kick. I think it works with light. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, see there that should know. be um, that should be a uh, an automatic dizzy right there. So right, because should, uh, it, that, it's hard, that really hard to use. Dizzy. But if you see it coming, then uh, that's a, it's a little bit advanced. Yeah. But, you know, it can be and let's let's go over his uh his basic uh so it, with safe jump you want to do it with either. Light kick or medium kick, and you know a, a, a good setup is just uh, two jabs in the sweep or two jabs in the throw. You know, and you control the direction obviously. Oh, okay. So like you want to do the down light kick, not the jump light. Yeah, it's more of an idea. Yeah, so it is, it is a lot of theory in that, and it's really hard to pull off in real matches. But just it's good to know that he can mess up real and like one move you can just pretty much beat him. Okay. So let's go over his, his super. Uh, super pretty much you'll see people link it off of uh, crouching short. Nice. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> that's oh, his, that's his main. Uh, so that, that's two 360 motions. Yeah, punch, two 360, and okay, I buffer cool. the motion. And so like, I, against some characters, that's really good. Like DJ, that really messes them up. Right. And like a more advanced, slightly more advanced version is to the jab. A jab into into 360. Very nice, very nice. But if you can get that, I mean, a lot of matchups you can just build meter doing this and one cross up. Like, I messed that up, but one. Uh, one cross up should be. You should practice. I'm not. I'm not. In the right. Well, another good setup is doing it after a safe jump, correct? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, like this. All right, I can't do it right. Yeah, like on knockdown, if you know they're not going to reversal or anything like that. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go over. Sweep. Let's go over his hop over sweep. Okay, so let's do a whip, bunch of whip sweeps for now. This move, and you want to use a medium punch version because of recovery. Zangief has a move a version, a move just to deal with this. He does a medium punch hop, and he can punch it afterwards. So. So you press forward and medium punch, correct? Yeah. So okay, like, okay. just keep whipping sweeps, and I'll show you. You know, that's oh, a. Nice, uh, nice. And you, and if you're at the right range, you can even do it to super. I messed that up, but. All oh, right, because you have a lot of time <laughs> yeah, to buffer, right? Yeah. Because of the, the animation. I wasn't at the right range. Yeah. Yeah, but you get the point. Like, if you do it right at the right range, it should be uh, hopping to super. Oh, Again, nice. so another very advanced tactic. But I would say you should be able to consistently do that to sweeps. Right. Consistently punish it with a medium kick. Um, so, uh, you know, consistently be able to do on a dime, like, no hesitation. Okay, so it seems like the trend with Zangief is that you have to know how to use all of his tools, his various tricks to get around fireballs, around low pokes, in order to land damage. He doesn't yeah. have, like, a singular... And there are going to be times where you have to be brave and walk forward because he, he, he can get messed up by proximity block a lot, Zangief can, you know? True, true, true. So, and another thing I want to point out is like, this happens to a lot of characters. When he crouches, look how much fatter his his thing is, right? See how much it, it goes further out? So like, at this range, it won't hit me, but this will hit me. Right. So you want to play a lot of footsie games by like, like uh, do a sweep on wake up. I'm gonna, I'm, a good trick is like, I'm going to pretend like I'm crouching so it'll hit me. 
Oh. See, like, at this range, uh, hold on, stay at that range? Yeah. At this range, if I crouch, it'll hit me, but if I stand, it'll sweep. So, a lot of geeks will do a trick like that, and it's just good for making them whiff sweeps, you know? Okay, makes sense. You want to you 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 trick your opponent a lot, because look how much it goes out when he's crouching. So, with Zangief, especially against Shotos, you really want to stand a lot and get right outside that sweep range and punish. Whether it's medium, whatever he does, you should be able to punish all his, you know, punish everything he does. Okay, so the key is to always try to stay standing and block our reaction if you see a fireball coming. Or I mean, for, reaction, for right? Shotos, that's a pretty, you know, and you want to get past okay. the fireballs, and you have to banish, do a fireball, you can cancel it with the, with the banishing fist, of course. That's just reading your opponent, you know? Of and you want, you want to read a fireball like that. So and can you go over how to do banishing fist and all that? I don't think you cover that. Well, let's go over uh, splash cross up after medium punch. Okay. So this is this is especially useful versus Oryu's. You know, it's a new trend where a lot of player, players are using Oryu and Oken, right? Right. So this is one tack that just ruins them. It's just you can lose a whole match like this, and it's it's actually the pile driver throw. So a okay. typical setup would be like you know he, I I knock him down and I just do a safe jump, and I'm just gonna do this, and oh. you can take out of it, but if you're Oryu, you can't. So which, it's, which throw is that? Is it's a punch? medium punch, and okay. it's a regular pile driver. Okay. And like the great thing about that is, right afterwards you can just it, this thing is messed up the training mode, so you can't really see it. But someone like Oryu will not be able to tech with it. And what you want to do is either just walk forward or do a uh, banishing fist afterwards, and then you get you can get a free, you know. And one tactic you see is like they'll just do this to that, you know, literally the whole match. Yeah, and you know, the odds bit. are in okay. your favor. You could do like one jab to that, or but the point is like versus Oryu, this is probably more useful than even the pile driver because. You can't. It just it just ruins him, you know. Well, it makes sense because, and we'll show this later on when we play actual Super Turbo. This version, this training mode uh, thing, is kind of weird glitches. Yeah. But typically, he'll just get knocked down, and Eve is still close, which lets you go for cross up pick ups or safe jumps, any variation between. So it, his, we'll his, I think it's pretty much his his guarantee. Dizzy is like this one. That's I mean Dizzy sometimes, not all the time, but True. that's a pretty much like a a good uh, cross up combo. And uh, another another one you want to do is of course this um, body splash into jab links into sweep. Right. You know you should be able to do that. Well, those are good because you can hit it from off air a lot. Easier. And you can also you can mix it up a little bit by doing stuff like, you know, like out of stand short and stuff like that. You know, just get look a little creative. Splash. Yeah. Fancy. Four. <laughs> my time is my time is a lot, but you should be able to do four. <laughs> In the yeah, whatever. But you get the. You can practice with the timing, you know. Yeah, you can leak all four, all four uh, jabs. But right. splash, standing, medium punch. Yeah, so I think Cigar was talking about this one. That's a. If someone's dizzy, I, if someone's dizzy, I would just go for this combo right here. You know, it's a beautiful combo right there. That's like thirty <laughs> percent. Dizzy and great damage. Yeah. Um. Oh, and another thing I want to point out is this works versus DJ a lot, but Zangief is one of the only characters who has a. Uh, he can throw while he's crouching on like a defensive crouch, and specifically it's this move right here. Yeah. Yeah. Which throw is that? It's crouching. Yeah. It's medium punch crouching. Okay. Uh, okay. So like, if he's in throw range, yeah. you can do that. Yeah. So the, the, a g nice trick against yeah. someone like DJ is to like, you do the safe stand short, and yeah. you just yeah. do that. You know, he can't really yeah. get out of it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Because uh, Muffin Man, a local DJ player, said that. Yeah. He has a tough time dealing with. So that's another yeah. trick you want to yeah. learn. Yeah. Now, Zankif, you're gonna have to put more work into him than other characters. So you, just, you have to learn all of his stuff. You know. Yeah. And that just keeps on. Uh, yeah. You just keep repeating yeah. that. You know. Right, well, I think that's why he's largely considered one of the bottom five characters of the game because yeah. you have to know everything about this character. Yeah, and I think Cigar Bob is referring to it, um, yeah. it's referred to as an option select. Yeah, because if, yeah, he, if he does up kick, you'll do crouching exactly. medium punch and knock him out. And if he just sits there, you'll throw. Right. Very cheap. Yeah, it is cheap, but it's hard to do. I mean, it's really hard to do to the point where DJ cannot jump out of it because a lot of. If he takes the hit and tries to jump out of it, it's really hard. Like, if you take the hit and try to jump out of it, it's really hard to do, you know? So right. you have to practice getting the timing, like, perfect. See, like, you want to make sure they can't jump out of it, so to make it like totally, uh, you know, no way to get out of it. Right. So I, I noticed that like a lot of DJs will try to jump out of it, but they shouldn't be able to, you know. I did it wrong, but if you get the frame timing down, you shouldn't be able to jump out of it. So you definitely want to practice that, you know. You want to practice that, and let's see what else do we uh, we went over this. Uh, well, can we go over more of anti air options? Yeah, anti air, anti air. So another since Geef doesn't have like reliable options that time. Um. You're gonna sometimes have to do air to air roundhouse. Like if I know you're gonna jump, I'm gonna right. get an early start in it and do that. So, that's, okay, you know that's a, with Zanky that it's really useful. It kind of takes a little bit of uh, guessing out of it. I think like I think you could do a trip guard for max range. I don't know if it. I think if, I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can do a trip guard for max range, but that's 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 kind of hard. You want to have to be at the right spacing. 
But it's a very good anti because they, they cannot block. Yeah, it. and they can't standing, do standing, 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 it's good, but only at close range. You know, it beats everything at close okay. range. So what about standing rat house? I've seen a lot of geese do standing oh. rat house, and uh, I think it, it's, I think it, it'll trade. See, I wouldn't use it versus uh, Ryu because I think if he times it right, it should beat it. I think. Right, because uh, because he does have a lot yeah. of hurt box above his head, but like it yeah, extends it's, out like very the cigar far. Said. And then, another use I want to point out for standing rat house is, is a shenanigan. Is this? Oh, it's oh okay, to, yeah, yeah. You know, it's a good uh, shenanigan. You know, like um, you obviously want to do it in, the, in the same, same corner too. Right, but that's, that's, another, that's another variation of this. You know, okay. just, you can use one or the other. Just mix up, mix it up once in a while. I like this one because it's like no one's expecting that. You know. Well, both are good because it looks like you're attacking. And so another thing about this is like his, his thing doesn't move you. forward as well. His his thing stays the same. So. He, oh, interesting. You know, so it's, it's little things like that to pay attention to are good. Okay, so it's a good trick to make him block, and then you yeah. go right into the grab, which they won't expect. Oh, and another, another useful thing is, uh, I believe when you block a jump attack. It has a different amount of hit stun depending on right. what it is, right? So like, if I do a, if you block a light one, he barely moves back, right? Yes. But if I do a, if I do a hard kick one, you'll you'll move back a lot. So another trick I see Geese players do is like, his 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 max range jumping is probably this one right here. Right. So what they'll do is like just um, block it. They'll do that to a to a throw right there, you know. Specifically because the hard Ooh. one throws them out further. So it's another trick you want to want to get proficient at. You know? Okay, so if you want if, if you want to keep the opponent close to you, you should use a light attack or a medium attack, correct? If you what? If you want the to keep the opponent close to you after a jump, yeah, yeah. You use a light attack or a medium attack. Yeah, exactly. So, okay, okay. so the thing about it, the advantage of using the reason why I safe jump with light kick is because whether it hits you or you block it is the same amount of pushback. Right, and That's, it keeps you close. So you can, yeah. do, you can go SBD, you can go to sleep. And you could even when you, you when you do a safe jump with Zanky, you could even hold the button. So like to keep it like you know, to oh, time it right. Oh, nice, nice. It automatically like sets it up for you. Right. You don't have to press it at the last second. And that's down. That's a jumping down short. Yeah. So so right. back to NTRs, like you have the air to air round. That's really good. His max range trip guard is good. It doesn't work against every character, but uh, you know, see, I was too close that time, obviously. So you have to make sure you get the distancing right. Air to air is that. That's good. I think a lariat. Uh, okay. So I think I think when you're close, it beats it. Like it depends. So yeah, you trade it with it. So it's a good thing that gives you a free knockdown. So you want to be a crouching layer as an anti-air specifically. Okay, so Zangi's best anti-airs typically are at farther ranges. Yeah, because Trip he has the, ranges, yeah. Zangi, right house ranges. And if you're close, I would. I mean, a lot of times you see the pro keeps even they just they ha you have to get a good read on the opponent and beat them before they have a chance to do that. You know? Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. So, oh, and uh, if you do a uh, no, just one thing is do um do a, a jab jab dragon punch. Another good punish is you can add the stand short to it if you're. So I'm gonna do a jab and then and then try to do a uh, jab DP. Okay. You know, it's a little trick. You can add. That could be the difference between winning the match and losing the match. So. Of course, because like no you one likes to get caught exactly. by Geef in block string. Yeah. You know what I'm saying they want to get out reversals. Okay, make Jump sense. forward, medium punch is really good. Yeah, like first claw, it beats a lot. You can see the hitbox. Like it's a really good. A lot, a lot of red. It's oh, really so good. It, it extends out beyond yeah. the hitbox a little bit. So okay, I think so it works okay. air to air too. If you jump, if I get a. Uh... Oh, and another thing I want to point out is like, a trick Ryu does is do a, a cross up and then do the overhead. Oops, sorry. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. You should that should never work on Geef because you have the crouching medium thing throw. So like do try to do it on me again. Oh sorry. I should you should be able to time it so you do that every time. That's the advantage of Geef. You should never fall for stuff like that, you know? So if you're losing to stuff like that, then you need to do a serious like work on that stuff, because that should never happen. That's a that's a huge advantage that he well, has. He, like mash SPDs, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's, it's tough to, to, to frame trap Zane Geef at close yeah. ranges because of the SPD and grabs. Okay, makes sense. Uh, can you briefly cover his running bear grab? I think it's a lot Oh yeah, running bear bear. Um, that's just good for like catching people off guard. You know, it, this is what it looks like. I mean, the problem with it is like he's so vulnerable. Vulnerable yeah. why it happens. Right, it's a little bit slow. Um, some players can punish it on reaction with yeah. a sweep, but against like characters I've seen, like I've Dalsum, seen some players like against Dalsum. and when the round starts, it could be good. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a gimmicky, yeah. but I mean, it's it's a different option if you know. Yeah, if keeps, your opponent keeps on GPL fall for the overhead every time and like. You know, my point is you don't you don't have to go for the reversal 360. You should just be do this every time he's going for the yeah. thing, stuff like that. You know. Interesting. I didn't know about that. Okay, I, you know, so that should never happen to Geef. You know, he should not be throwing Geef. Makes sense. He should be doing he should be doing the throwing. So that bear grab is a 360 with a kick, correct? Yeah. But up close, does it change how it, the, the animation of it? Up close, it turns into this, which it does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. And pushes them in the corner. Yeah. Right? So it, what this is useful for is like if you did a cross up, you can do one jab into that instead of the pile driver. Oh, okay, because okay. Uh, it, it's always going to be the right range. So, like one jab is enough to right, and they're in the corner, and you're a little bit closer than a standard SPD, a non non directed SPD. That makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. So, but I mean, something something important to note is that 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 grab range, if you want to do the close version, actually has less range than the SPD. Yeah. So you have to be but really. But it's, it's more damaging, and like a, a perfect setup is like one, I think, crouching short or one jab, and you can oh, do that okay, off a cross good. up. 
But okay. you know, if you're at this range right here, you have to use a pile driver because right. the bigger range. grab won't work. So okay, okay, okay. you know, in some like if I was jumping at them like from the front, I would just do a pile driver. But if I get a cross up, I can just do one jab. And you can actually do two jabs if you time it right into the uh, two like two tight jabs into that. That'll oh, still work. Okay, okay. So you wanna that's this more damage. So the trend of another thing is that it's you know what you can play patiently with Geef and make your way in, but once you get in, you have to learn all those mix up options and how to yeah. mix them up and keep your opponent off you know off and this, guard. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, so is there anything else you like to cover, or do you want to go straight into like matchups? Um, I'm trying to think. Like, I, he has a. Uh, I think cr uh, try to jump at me. Uh, crouching jab might be an anti air. See that? Oh, okay. <laughs> It's a weird uh, anti air. Yeah, a, really, a little risky because yeah. your head hurt box does poke out a little bit. I think it works against Oryu better because. Wait, yeah, it's the right range. <laughs> Traded. Yeah, yeah so don't get too, creative with, <laughs> get too creative with the. Oh, but this should work too when I. Oh, that didn't even work. I mean, I prefer yeah. trip guard anti air. I love trip guard yeah. anti airs. It's too good. So this is a. Uh, when up close, you want to do. Oh, yeah, so let's, let's go for some matchup stuff. Okay, sure. Um, so, yeah, can, you switch to, can you switch to a uh, smart name? Or any variation of it? So right now, uh, we'll go into more um, matchup details, since uh, you know this, this training mode script is kind of wonky, it doesn't work properly, um, yeah, the sucks. way characters bounce out and recover is, is completely unrealistic. So, so I, I, was, I think we should go over uh, Guile to show, this is a perfect example of how we can show the control the spin and how important it is. Okay, sure, like I'll play Guile. Or DJ or like any charge character. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's important to, to change your playstyle depending on your play oh, yeah. correctly. Like yeah. the way you play Vega will not be the same way you play Absolutely, a Shoto yeah. Zagal. Okay, cool. So I guess we'll start but off. But the good with thing about Geef is style. like you always wanna in general get close and, and mess them up, you know. Whereas like reuse game plan could be a little more Okay, sorry guys. So uh, please be patient while we reconfigure. Uh can you test it? I don't think it's correct. Can you ch check the buttons? Yeah, but that's a cool, that, like, that stand jab, huh? Because his leg just, is like... That's pretty down. neat. Tip I always see uh, standing short, not, not, not that variation. Everything was okay. Huh? Everything was okay. Okay, alright, let's, let's, let's just exit and try it. Well, player two must be different then. Yeah, so I should do mine. Yeah, just, uh... Down? <laughs> okay, I think those are all correct. Can you try buttons? Yeah. Just to double check the buttons before we uh, head into a match. Right. Jab. Yeah, they're, they're different. The buttons are different. So let's go over all the buttons. Fierce. Uh, Fierce. <laughs> <laughs> Short for roundhouse. Okay, that should be good. All right, let's try. So we're gonna go over some here. examples right now of like, are we on? I mean, I'm still sure. on live. Yeah, we're still live. Keep it. So we're gonna go over examples of like how specifically that uh, how to control the the direction. So wait, do I press start? Uh, uh Sergio, to start. Uh, player two start is. So be uh, be Gal for now. Keep us tab. Then go to inputs. Yeah, yeah, uh, should be the same. Can you double check the starts, Sergio? I believe they're different. They should be button 9, as I recall. Yeah, start. Yeah, okay. Start. Yeah, okay, start again. Go to co yeah, go to coin, Sergio, if you could. That's fine, whatever. Yeah, we're good. Right? Start. Okay, now we should be good. Um, <laughs> come on, man. Yeah, I got it, got it. <laughs> Alright, so we're good? Press start, please. Alright, All right, yeah. let's go live. Let's pick Guile. Oh, yeah. Okay. New so Gile. we're just gonna go over yeah. the we're okay. gonna examples of like how the corner, what you wanna do in the corner. Okay, so typically this is a classic. I'm gonna throw some booms and keep yeah, Guile so let's away. Let's say I get him in the corner because okay. when this happens, the Geef player should win every time. You have to control the spin, so see how he's there, and then I just loop it up. There's nothing Gal can do. This oh, should be. Kick. You should be able. To I mean, every single. It's just guaranteed money right there. You know, I would practice this and practice this because you can't do. The only thing you can do is crouch. But I, I feel like a it's good Geef player, a good Geef player, should be able to hit him from that. Yeah, it's risky. You know, like the only way out of that is maybe flash kick the yeah. uh, the grab. Yeah. yeah. But as long as you change of when you do the grab, it's over. But <laughs> the point the point is to always control the direction. Uh, I don't know how that worked. That was weird. That was cool. You know, so let's go over the other side and show him that one. Okay, sure. So that's the example of how I control them in that corner, right? You I'll do the, me? I'll do the other co corner as well. This one I find harder for me. I don't know about other people, but... Because I, I have to go to neutral and then do this, all this other stuff, but... Well, that's because you're better on player two side than player one side, right? Everyone has a preferred preference on the other side. I think it depends on the character. A lot of practice oh, the way, really? like... 
I mean. Yeah, you're, you're definitely better player. You're definitely better at player two side. So here we go. <laughs> wow, you actually did on time, dude. Dude, what time is God? No, but like, I'm trying <laughs> to charge. No. You have a God player. See, right? so you should, it should be every single time. Uh, <laughs> if God takes the hit from the jump. Yeah, I can. I can. Uh, yeah, a I good geef, exactly. Hit. A good geef will hit him from that. So let's do it again in this corner. Yeah, but uh, Sagarba, the scary thing is that as long as Geef uh, hit confirms it, he can go into jab or sweep. Hit confirms. You know, it's it's money, not, money. It's, this it's should be easy. practiced and practiced because there's nothing they can do, and it just ruins them. You know. Yeah, correctly. Like Gal should be like that every time he's in the corner. So you notice how I control the spin each time. He stayed in that corner, and he stayed in that corner. That's a huge, 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 huge thing for Geef. Let's, but, go, let's go over the sim uh, standing jab. But trick. getting Gal in that corner is pretty tricky. Yeah, so let's, let's go over it's this tough. match again and let's go over how to how to actually uh, knock him down and stuff like that. Okay. So th that's the easy part is doing that once you get him in the corner. You're gonna have to find creative ways to get in on him because yeah, he has every. It's, it's tough. So uh, first of all, you see a lot of guys just like this match uh, match crouching around crouching. So if you see him do this, you just want to trade. You know, it's no hitbox, that suck. So no, you want to no. you want to be able to do that. You know, you should get the timing down. You know, it's huge because it's really hard to walk forward and sweep him afterwards. So you want to be it's very fast. Very yeah, quick, very quick. And even if you trade, it trades in your favor. That's, what, that's what yeah. You gotta sweep. You gotta sweep the medium kick. Absolutely. And like you know, let's say you have you have no life left. I have like you have one pixel of life. I would just do this. It's a good trade, you know. Yeah. And even though you're using a light attack, you're still yeah. winning in the life lead because yeah. he has more life. So uh, you, yeah. the hard part is knocking him down. And let me go over the, real fast the uh, the uh, medium kick thing I was talking about. Gal can't take out of it, so it'll work for him too. Uh, this trick, we just continually loop it. That's that's an example of what he's uh, Cigar Bob was talking about, I think. Right. Right. That that'll just ruin Oryu, you know, or. Uh, a lot well, of it'll really guile because I lose charge blocking that yeah. cross up. So it's a so free with throw. with Zangief you have to you have to be really good at like sweeping their their whiff so moves. You know against Gal it's your only way to get in. You yeah, know? because it's it's actually a tough match for Geek. And you want to go over uh, DJ my, or my somewhere, zoning somewhere else? Will destroy you. Okay, yeah, let's go over DJ. And we'll go over DJ. Oh, okay. Safe jump splash versus Shota's. So you can use that. It's uh, and you want to be really careful when you lariat it because I'm gonna do one and just uh, walk forward and punish me afterwards. So I'll, you'll be really careful with your layers in this match, because he, you know, it's, he can not only punish you, but he can uh, be really careful with your layers, because that'll happen every time. Yep. And if you do it right, it's two, it's two a combo. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, not all the time. But yeah, your goal is just to get in this. You just goal is just to get in this match, you know. And that's, that's, that trick works well if he's uh. Yeah, it's tough because uh, Giles zoning is so good, and he has so yeah. many anti-air options to deal with Geef. And it's just, this thing is pushing back. See, that was that was I had to trade. I was. Oh, that's supposed to be. Yeah, see, that was it. So you have to be really pick your. Uh, you have to be really good at sweeping with uh, moves yeah. with with Zangief. Yeah. So even though really really the match, hard, you'll, you'll be blocking some of booms or avoiding them yeah. at the match. Once you get in, it's over. That's yeah. the that's the silver yeah. lining in the, in the match. <laughs> Oh, good. That was a good <laughs> trick. So you can do that. That's another variation. So yeah, that's how it out. should be when he's in the corner. You right? can't get out. It's yeah, can't right. get out. And you're right. Very dominating. So when you when you actually think about it, Geef can be a pretty pretty damn good character if if you if you handle if you have perfect execution. Yeah. Yeah. If you never mess up the corner thing, like, you know, I mean, he, he's if you can get close, he works out, man. Yeah. If you can get close, it doesn't matter who they are. Yeah. Like, they'll die quickly. Exactly. If you can get let's it, go over let's go over DJ. Uh, what's my color? I just wanna I just wanna use an example of like. You have to be able to punish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like use this like you see DJ slide a lot, do a lot of slides. You want to be able to get in the range where you can just punish it right afterwards. Oh, yes. See, like right there. That's you should be able to. On reaction, right? On reaction, on reaction. Or or you can trade like if he's if you know he's gonna do it, I can just do it at the same time, you know. Okay, or and it's, do that crouching medium kick, medium punch spam. You can get right at the range and do a punish it on recovery with a low forward. It's tough to do, but yeah. It is hard, yeah. but or you can just I think um, do that. I'm gonna try to walk forward and pile drive you. So if you see a lot of DJ spamming this, this is what you want to do. I see it's hard because yeah. it's tough, man. It's tough, not easy. I think the uh, it sweep trades with it. So you can do that or this. See, it trades with it. But the main thing you want to do is learn how to when he's when or it keeps sliding at me like nonstop. 
If, if you get slide to me, keep sliding me. If I get the feel of what he's doing, keep doing it. You should be able to grab it too, but that's that's hard, you know. And but DJ, you want to? This is the let's go over the uh, medium punch example. This is the this is the match you want to do this for. The uh, option select medium punch grab, and do if you do a drag kick, see how it should beat the drag kick every time. Yeah. And let's go over um let's go over the dalsum how to do that standing jab when he's in the corner. And uh, so this trick is specifically good versus uh, Dalsum because he, he can't crouch it, he can't block it crouching. Well, I can, I. Or you can't. It's, it's the only high. It doesn't whiff. It doesn't whiff. It doesn't whiff. Yeah. Yeah, because Dalsum's hit hurt box so high, so high. Let's go A this lot corner. of uh, high attacks actually uh, make him block. So when, with, with Dalsum, you want to do that every time he's in the corner because he can't do anything. I was didn't space that right, but uh, you know that's that's what you want to use for Dalsum because uh, he can't get out of it and. It hits him when he's standing or... Well, the primary reason you stand jam is so you don't get thrown. Because Dalton has such a big throw yeah, range yeah, yeah. that if you get any closer, you might risk... Yeah. Uh... Oh, nice. <laughs> That's all I can do. <laughs> so you want to use that versus... I didn't time that, but... That's a good trick versus... Uh... So, I mean, Zanky, you're going to have to play smart and, like, really... My main advice would be to, like, punish them when they make a mistake because... It's gonna be hard to get in, you know. Yeah, if, if you get pushed out, the match like, gets so small attractive. things make a difference. Like if you see if you see a gal with a, a flash kick, are you gonna sweep him? Are you gonna pile drive him? Like how are you gonna maximize your damage? Right, right, right. Every single thing should be maximized. You should maximize the damage, you know. Right, because the more damage you do, the less chances you're forced to take yeah. to to get in and get close and do damage. And exactly. To get the wins. So I mean, obviously, well, it didn't it cover sense. close to everything. Like, should you basically gave him like how do you want to use this? Yeah, Right, a lot of it is is knowing all of his tools, his various anti air options, mix up options, uh, how to beat low attacks, etc. Right, well, so there's there's two things. main geeks uh, I would say are like the top in uh, Japan, Gunze and Pony, and they use a lot very different tactics. They use uh, one uses like a lot of lariats and one just uses a lot of like not lariats, you know. Oh, versus Sagas is a hard match, but you want to use a lot of kick lariats for this match, a lot of kick lariats, and just you know, it's again. Go for it. Ah! <laughs> you, see, you messed up just exactly. once. Exactly. See, I messed up once. I lost and you the match. completely lost it. And you could have had me too. That's how. That's how you gotta be with Zangief. So that was, that was, that was that safe, was stand short, that works against the Osagat. Yeah, once you knock me down, Yeah, you're, you're one or two mix-ups away from beating me. <laughs> I mix it up, obviously, and just keep, yeah. keep Zangief at bay. Nice. <laughs> oh, eat a dick, fern tree. Okay, sorry, sorry. I was just bring that out there. Uh, obligatory eat a dick, fern tree. Uh, shit talk. Wait, as you can see, like Sakit has a pretty easy time zoning out Zangi. Yeah, but once you get close, yeah. holy shit! <laughs> Uppercut. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Debate. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Early jump light kick can... If you yeah, but if, he, if he's timing it right, it's a deep uppercut, though. Nice. What kind of stick accidentally gives me tired? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's a, I mean, that's a, that's a, of course, like, 8-2, 7-3. Oh, if you guys want to see a classic Gee fuck up at Osagat, watch, um, who was it? Kuni versus Vae on YouTube. You see that match? 
Was that Vi or was that uh? That was Vi's <laughs> Osaga versus Kuni's Gif. But like, why? What it's the, the hell? only time a Gif has never thrown a tiger shot <laughs> versus a Gif, and he got destroyed. That was some OG. So you right can there. see in that match, I was utilizing the safety and short alignment. I can't. Uh, they can't hear you with the mic. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was using the. Uh, <laughs> The uh, stand short because that's that's really useful against the guy. Right, you know? I kept trying to uppercut. And it would either stuff me or your or the uppercut would just whiff and you would punish me. And free. versus you want to use a lot of kick later in that match to get past the fireballs, but it, it's tough because I mean Sagat has all this Iger, range. Iger, he has Iger. his range, he strength. He's a beast, man. Oh Sagat. He's his only monster, man. This is all he has. Yeah. He's his only beast. So is that is that all for today? So uh, yeah, to all the geef up and coming geef players, awesome. we need more of you people. Like, there's really not. I think there's Kropi's like the only. Dedicated Geef specialist. He's not a dedicated Geef specialist. You, you, hear, that, Honda, you man. hear that, Kuropi? You're not dedicated enough to Geef, man. You're Geef free. You're Geef free. Oh, Snake wow. guys, yeah, but he'll but he's play a, every now and then. And even then, his, his SD Geef is, is like, it's not as good as HDR Geef, you know? His can's amazing, though. He's a great amazing. player, like, overall, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it's hard to play pad on, on uh, ST because you three buttons to the Lariat, whereas in HDR, you can get away with it. That's true. But... So, Oh, I'll, I'll say that for later. <laughs> yeah, so Geef players, like, I mean, he can definitely win. Like, even against Ryu, like, you see, put it this way. It's you see grind. a lot of Ryu's win tournaments, right? It's a grind. So yeah. you can beat Ryu. Of so, course, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a grind, but if you play smart and have great execution, and, like, you saw the difference it made, like, when I missed it, uh, SPD and when I landed one versus your Ogod, right? Right, right, right. You have, it's literally, like, you have to even have a chance. You have to, like, play really well. And, like, right, he, he's, a, he's a thinking man's character, you know what I'm saying? He'll be very patient. Circa, we're talking. So, like, to all the... <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm sweating too much. I'm okay, yeah. alright. I guess we'll, uh, we'll end the tutorial here today. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Right now, I guess we're going to hop on Skype with Cigar Bob and possibly DJ Frijoles and Kropi and whoever else wants to Skype in and uh, shoot the shit. But we'll take a break first. But we'll definitely, we, we definitely want to get you guys on Skype and uh, get your guys' inputs. And, uh, yeah, so uh, thanks for joining you guys. I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be back in five, five or ten minutes, minutes, and we'll just fuck around with GPO, talk, do all the shit we normally do you here at Arcadium. So, see you guys later. Bye.